Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, I'm Zombie Quaggin and it's been a long time so I'm really sorry for like the absence but um, basically I've been quite ill and I've had like um, that kind of issues at home so yeah leaving them aside I don't want this to be a negative video I wanted to talk to you about my character now as the title suggests am I ugly enough? so um, most people who kind of come across my character like out in the open think yes <laughs> okay quite a few characters things like you know i've got like a, the kaka crab i've got like the the soul beast kind of like um arms i've got like a norn kind of thing i've just got lots of animal theme things going on but um there's always room for improvement like you've got to give it your all so i wanted to try and like think of what else i can do to be even uglier like how i can like leap forward or how i can kind of like attack like this issue and then it hit me or oh, the gems still hit me because i bought this guy <laughs> so um this is the most unique raptor skin that's out there right now i say unique because most of them are like different skins than the original one this one looks completely different so we're kind of like a peacocky chickeny raptor weird thing but look how fabulous he is check this out so not only are these like feathers beautiful but he glitters <laughs> so i leave glitters and feathers literally everywhere like not even jumping in fire can hurt this guy so yeah i wanted to like show this guy off a little bit and just be <laughs> really like because i can get even uglier but yeah so there's um there was actually two different things i wanted to discuss one was that and the other was like my legendary journey okay so um i think i'm gonna need to be in a different map for this uh let's go lion's edge so um there's a closer waypoint it doesn't matter so um i made a video like a while back about my legendary journey and i was talking about how i was getting like go going for um crafting for the lover which is the precursor for the dreamer shortbow you know the one that shoots unicorns it would make me look even uglier and so i kind of like started going about it so there's a video where i unlocked like the first tier and then you've got to do crafting for the next tier, okay? So I've kind of done that. Oh, I've set up being able to craft behind the scenes, okay? So there's four things you need. The first thing you need is this thing, the essence of love, which I got in the last video. And then you need to craft three more things. Where are we? Okay, so you need to go... You need to get the shortbow stave, which you need 20 spirit wood planks plus more. You need the string, which you need 15 Elonian squares and more. And you need the... Uh, yeah, the inscription which you need 10 Elonian squares okay and this plus extra but these are the bits I'm missing okay so to get 25 Elonian squares if we look at the training post right now 25 is we're just gonna call it 210 gold okay it's close enough and then we need 20 of these so 210 gold add 100 gold is 310 gold okay and this is for t the tier one precursor okay you've got to get three tiers before you can get the actual precursor so if we go here and if we type the lover it's 300 gold so it's cheaper for me to outright buy the legendary precursor than it would be to craft the first tier of it let alone tier 2 and t3 and t2 is supposed to be more expensive with t3 being less expensive than t2 but overall i'm looking at over a thousand gold so i wanted to do you guys a guide on like like kind of to show you like what to do then like give you like advice and my advice honestly is to do this see i've got it now so i don't have to do any more crafting i don't have to do any of that i just have to walk over to the training post as my game kind of lags and pick this up and there we go in my inventory I now have the lover so yeah um, so basically my point is just to look at the gem store or look at the trading post even ah oh, that's so awesome look at that even uglier again <laughs> i might have to adjust my color scheme to kind of go for that but um yeah so my point is like it's well i, I don't i was about to say it's a lot of effort it's the effort doesn't matter because it's a game and the more effort you put into a game the more effort you get out of it but the cost just doesn't justify it and then i can put my effort into other parts of the game so yeah let's quickly soulbind this 
weapon is actually equipped. What stats does it have? It doesn't have condition damage, but that's fine. So I'm probably going to put this back on and then just skin it. That'll do. Because I don't want to actually transmute any of the actual stats. Hang on. I don't want the... That's the one I want. Because I don't want to actually transmute any of the stats. Right, because I want to keep the bow as it is so I can actually craft the legendary out of it. But there we are. <laughs> Even uglier again. All right. So, yeah. Um... Leave, like, comments down below if you think there's anything I can do to be even uglier still. But, like, I was thinking maybe, like, get another one of the, like, polyundulating refractors. Like, maybe, like, the orange one and see if green and orange together would make, like, a kind of, like, really kind of, like, terrible brown or something. But it shows how my prime colors knowledge works anyway. But, anyway, that'll do for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, so really, really quickly. Um, I know I ended the video, but... um. Yeah, I suddenly had a thought. Why don't I just get, like, the polyundulate refractor orange and see what it does? Oh! <laughs> Even uglier again. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Like, the next one's like a... It's like a bluey kind of teal, and then there's like a black. So I think black will just, like, dull the effect. But, ah, oh, that's like a snot green. And, like, a, that's supposed to be purple, the actual armor. I think if we load the preview, yeah, that's supposed to be purple. And it's like this, like really dull brown <laughs> oh this is so much fun so um i'm gonna do some dyes so i'm gonna try and match like me to like the color scheme of the bow i think and it's gonna look awesome it's gonna be so good but yeah this is actually me signing off now see you later Bye bye